What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Android KitKat is deliciously coming any day, so I thought it'd be a good time to put out my Android KitKat wish list. What I hope it's gonna have, what I wish it might have, and what I hope someday Android might get. Let's go ahead and get started. So I know KitKat is just Android 4.4, it's going to be iterative, it's not a 5.0 giant update. So whether or not KitKat gets any of this, it's things that I hope Android gets eventually. Let's jump right in with my giant one that I am fingers crossed hoping we get a real backup solution. Google already has awesome online storage with Google Drive. Give us a few extra gigabytes of storage and let us do real backup and restore. Perhaps KitKat will be the first version of Android that handles OEM skins differently that somehow will set a backup file that works for everything. Would be really, really helpful to have. I love a way to restore phones, no matter if it's from a Samsung or an HTC or an LG. Let me just restore my phone like it looked before. I would love to have that. Google, you got the resources? Please make it happen. Number two, a true SMS app that doesn't involve people being online, like iMessage or BBM. I know Hangouts is their new message, and I'm probably never gonna see this, but I don't like always being online, people able to send me an IM, or all my IMs always showing up on my phone. I just want straight text, I want a desktop application that I can send messages to, I can see send or receive. I want it to be simple, make it like iMessages, make it like BBM, don't force me to be online in a buddy list. I just don't like it, maybe I'm alone, but I find it a little on the annoying side. Number three, improved Google Wallet. Integration with Google Now makes for a perfectly synergized passbook-like solution uh, with payments built right in. Google Wallet was built up to be awesome, and I love using Google Wallet. I look for places to actually use it because I think it's just crazy cool to tap and, and pay for things, but it's not an easy process. You could build it in with Google Now. You could see coupons that show up. You could see all your membership cards that show up when you walk into a restaurant. I think that would be an awesome way to help uh, not only fight ISIS coming at you for mobile payment, but also hopefully take Google Wallet to the next level. Number four, easy NFC sharing. Right now, you can open a photo or some other piece of media, then tap it to another NFC-enabled Android device to share that picture. It's kind of a tedious process. That's kind of a really just long way of doing it, though. I really wish we could tap our phones to another Android device and then choose what we want to share. Just nice and simple like that. Maybe it's several photos at once or an application or a book that we just downloaded or a new album or a game, which should work really well and very easily. So this would obviously require Google to enable sharing of Google Play products, but Amazon already offers Kindle Lend features and Barnes & Noble has something similar with their Lend Me, so it shouldn't be totally out of the question. Plus, they're freaking Google with all those resources. Samsung's done already a pretty nice job of using Wi-Fi Direct to share larger files, but i really like to see something like this become easier to use, easier to initiate, and be built in by default on all Android devices, including tablets and smartphones. So Google, please make it happen. Number five, always listening, and I know it sounds super creepy, but it's awesome on the Moto X. But I could just say, okay, Google now, tell me the weather. I don't have to take my phone out of my pocket. It just knows and is listening. It doesn't drain a ton of battery. It's a really cool feature. I love it. If you don't like it, the option to turn it off or you find it a little bit creepy and too much listening to what you're doing. I understand the privacy concerns. I really like it. I love for it to make its way into KitKat. Number six, double tap the screen to turn it on or off. I first saw this with the LG G2 and it is beyond awesome. Not only because the buttons on the back are kind of annoying and hard to find, but it just makes sense. You double tap the screen, it turns on. You double tap the screen, it turns off. Obviously, if you've got a password on there or some sort of lock code, it's gonna have another step, it might not work as well, but it's just really intuitive. Double tap the screen, it opens up, double tap, it turns off. I can't believe this wasn't a feature that was built into other Android phones. LG just made it work really, really well. I love it to be built into Android Kick Obviously, there are a ton of other things that we can get, a ton of other wants and wish lists, but I thought if I made a top six list, it would be a good place to start. What do you guys think about my list or any other features that you want to have built into Android? Leave them in the comments right down below. Please check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news and give the video a thumbs up. We we'll definitely appreciate it. Until then, I am John Rettinger. I'll see you next What's time. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. Now, if you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.